Hi everyone and welcome back for another video in my Unreal Engine 4 tutorials. In this snack size video today we're going to show you how to render out a video and the reason why you may want to do this is if you're making something like trailers or demo reels uh, to show other people and it's a very useful feature and quite simple to do actually so let's begin shall we so I've opened up my project here and all I'm going to do is I'm going to record some footage of uh, some camera going through the scene like so all right so to do so you've got up top here where it says cinematics and click on the arrow here and I'll open uh, the add level sequence and it's going to ask you to choose where to save it and I'm going to save it there in the root of the uh, content folder and I'm going to call it um, let's call it video output save okay so here's my sequencer sometimes it may be disconnected uh, like so i particularly like to keep it down here that's just the way i like to work so this is blank at the moment and what we're going to do is we're going to add a camera to our track here so i'm going to click on the add uh camera up here so click to create new camera now if you position your your viewport to where you want the camera to start it's typically a good idea because when you click on the camera it will start it from that position Okay, so I'm just going to make this bigger so you can see it. So at the moment you see here, it's piloting the camera itself. And down here in the sequencer, I've got the camera cuts track. And I've got the actual track itself of this uh, camera that we currently have selected. And inside this actor, we've got loads of um, variables and properties that we can track and animate. So for example, we can animate its movement. So I'm going to position the camera like so here. And I'm going to uh, click on, make sure my timer here is at uh, zero, Ooh, like so. And then if you click on this button here, this one will um, set auto keys, but this one will also um, key all the transit, uh, all of them. Okay, so let's see it keys all channel properties when only one of them changes. So basically, that's quite a good idea to do because I want to change them all. Um, the only time you don't want this is if you are uh, changing multiple of these at different locate uh, different times, which we'll actually do an example of in a moment. So here, I'm going to set key by pushing S, and this key frame is set with a little red dot here. So S for set key. I'm then going to move my slider along forwards to there. And I'll move my camera to where I want him to be. Like so. And as you can see, because I've got auto key uh, selected, which is this key icon here, um, this will add a keyframe for me. If you don't have this selected and you want to do it manually, just hit the S key again. So if I was to go back to start and play this, you can see it now going through the environment. So that's all well and good we've got one scene now we can render this out as is but I'm going to show you how to add multiple cameras but firstly let's have a look what we've got up here so the red um, so the green uh, line indicates when the video is going to start and the red is when the video is going to end this is the camera uh, cut this is only got one camera at the moment so it's just going to follow one camera shot however we can now add multiple cameras to this so if I was to say on here, click on this camera icon again, uh, I'm just going to eject from my pilot. And let's just move this over here. Like so. And I'm going to hit on the create new camera. So now I've got two cameras set up. I'm going to hit S to set position to start off with. And then I'm going to go forwards. Like so. Oh, that's got, forgot to move the timer forwards like so and then right there so the camera is moving however it won't render out because we haven't added it to the camera cut so here I'm going to bring this first camera cut back down and then at the start of here I'm going to click on add camera and I'll choose the Cine camera actor 2 which is the second one we just added and as you can see here it adds the camera here and I can extend this up like so 
Don't forget you need to extend your red line out too, otherwise it won't render all of it. So now, if I was to play this uh, this track, it will now cut between two cameras and get a whole movie. So, with that now done, I can click save. And to render this out, you go up to here to the little clapperboard icon here. We can click on this button and you get these settings come up like so. And here we can choose the output format, which is a video sequence. If you want, you can do an image sequence as well. So you just get a, a, a sequence of images showing the whole video because the video is essentially just a load of images like a Flickr book style. So I'm going to leave this as a video sequence. The frame rate, whether you want to do 30 uh, frames per second or 24, like a traditional movie, or if you want to go up to 60, like a game uh, res uh, frame rate, that's totally up to you. I'm going to leave it at 30. Resolution is what it is. Okay, you can make a custom one. So you've got normal 1080, and you've got a uh, kind of 4K down here. Um, video encoding. Uh, you've got more op options here, by the way. If you want to have a look around, you can see it's more here. Uh, video encoding, we want to use compression because otherwise the file will be massive. And compression quality, so if you were to decrease this, your file size will be uh, better, but you'll lose quality um, and increase it. Better quality, but bigger file size. Uh, the main thing you want to change those output directory is to choose where it's rendered to. I'm going to render this to desktop. And here's the file name format. So when it's in curly brackets, that is like sort of a variable for the name of the file. So this will output the name of the world, in this case, a third person example map. Um, and if you want to override the game mode or anything like that down here too. But you won't really need to change this much. And you've got some further options down the bottom here, which allow certain things to happen. So if you want to show the HUD, for example, you can show the HUD. If you want to show the play, you can show the play if you like, uh, but you don't need to. And finally, you have some animation here. If you want to choose when to start and end at the uh, animation itself, but we're going to leave that as is. I'm going to click Capture Movie, and it asks you to save it. And you'll get this little preview window, which is rendering out what it's previewing at. Now, it's important to note this will render out what the game, what it will be in game. Okay, so it's not going to be what you see in the engine. This is going to be look like what's inside the game. So you won't see any of like the capsules or anything like that. It will show you what, how it's going to be rendered in game as well, and that include any like post processes and things of that nature. So you just saw there the camera cut, and it looks kind of slow and jumpy. That's because it's rendering photos and not actually the image. So I'm going to click on here, and I'm going to open up my video and there you go very simple video but it gets the job done and so you can add as many camera cuts you'd want to this thing if you want a bigger space here we just we can uh, zoom in and zoom out down here and we can also increase the size of our timeline by dragging on these numbers at the bottom and there you go that's how you capture a video if you like this video please give us a like and subscribe to the channel and don't forget you can watch uh, other videos and exclusive videos and join our discord by heading over to patreon and support me just like these people have big thank you thank you and shout out to everyone that's helped me so far and uh yeah i'll see you next time Bye bye